Unbelievable. Northern elders blast Buhari over Chris Ngige and Rotimi Amechi. These two young men intended to become Nigerian's president, but Chris Ngige, when he weighed the options, decided to stay true. The likes of Amechi resigned, feeling confident that he will become Nigerian's president. You see, so it did not quite happen. But then, you see, it did not quite happen. And um, Rotimi, you know, Buhari's right-hand man, one of the persons he has used to achieve some of his aim and purpose, like construction of rails, okay, to other parts of, you know, to other nations, is becoming, you know, some of the things that are currently staring us all in the face. Uh, Northern elders really find Buhari's working with these people you know, very, very, very shameful and, um, you know, very shameful and have felt, listen, guys, this is totally unnecessary. Okay, this is totally unnecessary. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Northern elders blast Buhari over Chris Ngige and Rotimi Amechi. The Northern Elder Forum has spoken against President Muhammadu Buhari over the Minister of Labor and Employment and Chris Singige handling of the Academic Staff Union of University ASU strike. Says Buhari's administration is shameful and has failed. And it is sad that Buhari cannot even get his ministers to do the right thing. It is very sad. I can't believe this is happening. This is terrible. Notably, the spokesman of the Northern Elders Forum, Hassan Baba Hamed, has said Buhari does not care about those who run the country, criticizing the former Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, for leaving his duty in search of presidential ticket, and Buhari or APC could not do anything possible to change the course of what has happened. The spokesman, Hassan Baba Hamed, tweeted that the former Minister of Transportation left his duty post and Buhari allowed it to happen. According to him, the former Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, failed to make sure that the kidnappers or those who were kidnapped and the train attack were released before running and going for presidency that never saw the light of day. Reports stated that Chris Ngigi has promised that the federal government was making effort to end the ongoing ASU strike, but nothing has happened. And Buhari is happy sitting there while Nigerian students are at home. His tenor is expiring and running off, and he does not care what happened to others. He's a very selfish individual. Now, this is the North speaking, and Northern elders are really, you know, are very angry, okay? at the current situations of what has happened they are very angry saying this is totally unnecessary this is totally really sincerely unnecessary how could they act in such a way and manner okay how could they act in such a way and manner buhari does not care what's going on with nigerians his minister for transportation as we speak from that train people are still there in case you are not aware not everybody has been released the 11 who are released said if the other ones are not, they don't go for in search of them and get them safe and released, they are, they are sure that they will soon die. Do you know a child was born in that captivity? A child was born in that captivity. Buhari does not care for anybody. His children do not school in Nigeria. In fact, they schooled abroad on interrupted educational system. Can't you see selfishness written all over most of our politicians? selfishness written all over them and yet they want to rule nigeria this is a minister of this yet his own child is not schooling in that very system his own child is not in the system and so he can't be bothered ashu should be on strike okay april 14th may june we're going to july they went in search for presidential tickets Look at all that has happened in the country. Buhari has no care for anything or anybody. These are northern and saying, you know, Buhari, instead of facing his call duty and responsibility of governing, he does not even care those who are governing the nation. 
Buhari cannot be bothered. Who is governing the nation? Rotimi Amechi said he constructed rail. People have been, you know, with that same rail issue, people have been in terrible position uh, up till today as we speak. Not every one of them has gotten their freedom yet. Rotimi was busy running down the stadium and Buhari said nothing. There is no, there is no form of integrity to say, no, this is not right. This is what we ought to do. Go and sort out this. Nobody cares. Allowing Nigerians to suffer needlessly, needlessly, needlessly. It's terrible, but it's the reality of what is on ground. Terrible. And so Northern Elders are saying to Buhari, you have failed. Don't even try to question it. You have failed. You and your APC. This is, I mean, these are Northern Elders telling Buhari, you failed. Chris Ngigi, you know, is supposed to be looking at Asu. He said that Asu will soon. They don't care. He's going about doing his own duty. You go and check. Probably he has traveled out of the country. Maybe he has traveled out and cannot be bothered. Buhari on the other side is there. I mean, he's just marking time, going to meetings. Whatever happens, he can't be bothered. These are sadly the people who are governing the state of affair of Nigeria. These are the people who are calling, you know, deciding what is going on in the country. And everybody is quiet, watching and seeing how things are playing out. Those that should speak are not saying anything. You know, those that should speak are saying nothing. It's terrible, but it's the reality of what is happening today. Okay? It is, it is what it is. And why none of us can be quiet? None of us must be quiet. No, none of us. It's about time we rise up to the occasion and refuse to allow those who are destroying the very essence of what makes up Nigeria. They must leave. These are the people causing the whole disunity in the country. These are the people who are destroying Nigeria. And you think it's some other people. No, it is the people who are supposed to be in charge of the nation. They are the ones destroying the very fabric of the nation. They don't care what happened to other individuals. They don't care. Their own children are schooling abroad. How many foreigners are schooling in Nigeria? That should, that should, that should ring a bell and tell us that we need to do our homework and do more. Because the country, we can't continue like this. No, not now, not ever. If things does not change from what it is right now, we don't know what will happen. Chris Ngige and uh, you know, Rotimi Amechi parading themselves, eh, wanting to be Nigerian's president. You have not been able to take care of your, your, your very own office. You want to be president. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.